So we're gonna look at another um, uh, setup. Sometimes I'm on the back here, and what I'll do is I'll be in a seatbelt control, and I haven't established any collar grips yet. So what I'm gonna do is I usually just come inside, and I bring my knee and inside of my wrist together, and I loop underneath, and look right here, see how I grab that gi? I grab that gi, so now I control his rotation, and then I lift up, and I open it up this way, so I can get a good collar grip, right? Because otherwise I'm here, so just open him up. This is gonna stay connected. It's very hard for him to get his arm back with this connection, okay? So what I did here, I started in seatbelt, I shoot over, I wrap, now I get in, and now get the collar. Now what's cool about this one, you might have trouble uh, doing this if you're you know, working with a bigger person, but I'm gonna try to attempt to go to this side, work into here. Now once I get this grip, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the leg to do the choke. Most chokes happen here. You're gonna step down on the gas, look at his body change. So all the choke is really in this leg. You see that? I'm pulling him down into the choke. So look, saves a lot of energy. And then I can pull because he can't rotate out of this. So I have my pull now on top of that. This is like pop your head off stuff, right? Because his rotation is blocked because of this kind of Williams guard setup from the back. So now look, he, even if he wanted to, I take the slack out, see? He can't turn because I have his arm trapped. All right, does that make sense? One, two, wrap, wrap, hit. And there's the choke. Cool? 